What's up, y'all? My name is Jayla Mina, aka Cocaine Jayla or Fine Ass Jayla. Um, I'm 24 years old and I live in Houston, Texas, but I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, I was born in Alabama, so I'm definitely what you would consider like a Southern Belle or like a Southern Belle with a twist. So, uh, this is where I live. This is my mom's house. So let's go inside and see how I'm living. So, like I said, I live with my mom. Um, right now, it's me, my mom, and her husband. Me and my mom's husband, we don't really get along that much. So I'm not really here that often unless I have to be because I'm not with the shits. This is my bathroom. This is where all of like the beautifulness takes place. I'm not too much of a girly girl, but I absolutely love butterflies. So I had to get something with butterflies just to kind of like personalize my space. And I wouldn't be me if um, if I didn't have white placemats. And then, uh, oh shit, I have a bottle of Patron on my bathroom counter because I love to turn up. So why not take a shot? Okay. Okay. So, so this is my room. Um, I have a big king size bed and this is where no magic happens because I'm not getting any. So usually it's just me and like my body pillow. Like this is definitely bae and we cuddle all the fucking time, but I ain't getting none. So it's just be me and my dogs in my big ass bed. Um, I have two closets because I'm a fucking spoiled brat and I love to shop and I have a lot of shit. This is like my my colored closet. So this closet has all of my colored clothes or anything that I own that, that has color is in this closet. So you see like all like my shimmery stuff, my blinky stuff like bejeweled bras, bedazzle bras. This is a custom bra. This is a custom bra. I got these from 72, 72 hour freak couture. They're the fucking shit. Thanks. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff, I don't really wear any of this stuff that much anymore because I wear white every single day, but I love my fur and I love my Olivia Pope jacket. Those are like essentials and then like cream blazers, you know, stuff like that. But this is like, just like a few of my shoes, not even like all of them. So sneakers over here and then like up here, um, I have my heels Kind of somewhat color coordinated, but they're a little messed up. So I have my darker shoes up top. And then I have like my pinks and cute pastels here. And I have like my boots and my darker like printed shoes or whatever. Whatever the fuck I came up with down there. And then I'm not really an accessories girl because I'm a tomboy. So I don't really carry a lot of purses. But I have like clutches and stuff for like whenever I go to the club. And then I love hats. I love hats. And this is my favorite one. It's a Texans hat that I had custom made for um, for the season. So whenever I go to the Texans games or whenever um, I want to support, then I wear my custom bejeweled hat. I'm in school full time, so I need a desk in my I was in Stray Sun Magazine, issue number 32. Shout out to fine ass Mercedes Moore. I love her. She's so fucking sweet. But um, I have the very last spread, which this is a double cover, so... Technically, I have the first spread from the back. I started modeling when I was 20, but this is one of my spreads here. Um, and you can see, hence why they call me fine ass Jayla, because that ass is the shit. It's amazing. And then these are like the other two pictures. So basically, I had a six-page spread in Straight Stun Magazine, and these picture, pictures were shot by Facet. Um, he's amazing. If you haven't worked with him, bitch, you're losing. Oh, let me get my bottle of Patron first. Okay. Do you, do you want a shot? No. Okay. This is my BMW. This is my baby. Her name is Coco, and she takes me everywhere that I have to go. And yes, I pay for it with my own money. I'm pulling up to my other place where I lay my head to get some more clothes and get ready for tonight. These are my dogs. Come here, come here. Come here, Dash, come here. This is my dog, Rocco. And this is my baby, Dash. Come here, Dash. Come here, say what's up. Turn around, say what's up. Hi. 
Come here, stand up. Come here, come show him a trick. Come here, stand up. Stand up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> come here, Rocco. Come here. Come here, Tuff Tuff. He's learning, but whatever. Those are my dogs. This is my white closet. All of my white shit or whatever I can fit on hangers right now. And then these are like some more of my shoes. I'm probably not going to do a bunch of dancing. So these are like some shoes that I'll put on. Like if I want to be cute for something, if I want to kill bitches real quick, you know, I throw these boots on with, you know, just a white outfit, something light. And then, you know, my pants, they got zippers on the back. So they real fly. You know what I mean? Just something light, bitches, you know, whatever. So yeah, this is one outfit that I'll probably wear tonight. It's something that I will wear like around the house or like if I'm about to go see Bay, then I will probably take this outfit to Bay's house because I love these shorts and I love these socks. These are called my thought socks. So I absolutely love this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses because it's just really simple. Like you can dress it up or you can dress it down. Like if I'm going to the club, then of course I'm going to wear this dress with heels and these heels are so comfortable. They're like Steve Madden, Keisha Cole heels. I absolutely love these, but if I know I'm going to be out all day long and I don't want people staring at my ass because it's so big, then I usually like tie like a shirt or something like around my waist. So it's still cute, but it's kind of dressed down a little bit and it takes some attention away from my butt. So this is one of my favorite dresses and it's definitely coming with me to the house. I'm boy and um, I love sneakers. So this would be like a typical everyday outfit for me. I have great abs. So I love wearing my abs out as much as possible. Even when it's cold, I'm still gonna find a way to wear my stomach out. Um, of course, gotta, gotta keep me a fresh white pair of shoes. And then I'm dripping sauce at all times. I'm like the fucking sauce queen, so. You know, I grabbed this little jersey real quick. Something like, especially like if I'm going to go meet up with my girlfriends, if we're going to go to the mall or out to eat or whatever. But, you know, it's always good to be able to take it off and still have a nice outfit on even without this. If I want to jazz it up or, you know, throw on like some heels, throw on like some heels or, you know, just whatever. Then this outfit can definitely go with these shoes too. Like I said, I'm going to a listening party for my homeboy's new album that's about to come out. And then I'm going to meet up with my friends later for the club. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, what's up, y'all? I'm sitting here with my friends. Hi, Vivian was my first friend that I ever made when I moved to Houston. So that was like eight years ago, and I absolutely love her. This is true. Ah, so, Vivian, <laughs> why do you feel like I should be on the Bad Girls Club? Well, like personally, honestly, like I just feel like that's something that she was made to do. Like, what else? What else would you be possibly? doing right now besides being on reality TV I feel like honestly like even since we've been in high school shit that happens every time I'm with you and I'm sure every time you by yourself needs to be on like camera like people need to see that shit so that's really why that I think so and then on the real like bro Jayla everybody wants okay Jayla everybody wants to know who she is so y'all all might as well find out at the same time like bro she needs to be on reality TV. Welcome to the Jayla Show. What's up, y'all? Oh, I just left my homeboy's mixtape party release, and it was so much fun. Sitting here waiting on the fucking elevator. It's been all the way up here on the high floor, and she's taking forever. But we're about to go to, you know, do some other stuff, and then we're going to go to the club and turn it up, you know, how we do. Jayla, so do you have any like enemies? Who's your like sworn enemy? A, like, I don't really have like a sworn enemy. Like, but, mm -hmm. I, so I don't really have 
a sworn enemy. Like, in order for you to be my enemy, we would both have to acknowledge that we don't like each other. And ain't no bitch got enough balls to really just come to me on no fuck shit. So, in my opinion, until a bitch come to me and say what she got to say to me, you and the rest of them hoes can have a seat in the wet bitch section. As far as I'm concerned, so I don't have enemies. They're just, you know, confused haters. life is just so irritated right now but I'm about to get up and I'm about to get dressed and I'm about to go meet up with my trainer and hopefully the rest of my day is better because right now I'm ready to punch her in her fucking face right now I just got to my trainer um, I've been working with him for maybe about two years or so or damn near two years um, definitely a fan of the health world camp <laughs> my sister it's like my best friend we're always together it's my fucking baby say hey hi her name's Musa. Okay, so, so right now we're on campus and as you can see this is what we call the tiger walk i go to tsu go tigers um but it's really dead right now because as you can see everybody's getting ready for finals so nobody's on campus this hoe's actually really fucking weak so we're about to go inside the student center to print off some stuff um i got two finals today and I gotta print out some paperwork, so that's what we're about to go do. Uh, this is the student center. Usually it's a lot of people in here, but like right now, it's not nobody in here. Because like I said before, everybody's getting ready for finals. But this is just where everybody hangs out. Whenever we got like announcements or whenever something's going on, this is where you can find everybody. Turn up the finals real quick. Everybody gonna get A's. Okay, like some of like, one of the, like my secret hobbies that people really don't know is like, I'm really good with like impersonations and voices and like I love like when I was in high school I used to always act like I was from London I used to talk like this and so some of the different things I like to do with my time is I love to go shopping with my friends I love to go to the club and I love to turn up and I love to drink liquor Patron is like my absolute favorite thing ever oh my gosh I totally love it so much I have dogs and so I'm always hanging out and taking my dogs to the dog park with my friends that also have pets. Um, I love anything that's competitive or anything that's outside because I'm a winner and winners love to win and if you're a loser stay the fuck away from me. 
Hey, I'm Jayla's cousin, Champagne. Jayla Mina is definitely my partner in crime. She's the ultimate bad girl. She turns up. She knows how to have a good time. She's for sure a fun girl. I like to describe her as bougie ratchet. She definitely is bougie ratchet. She's very educated from high school to college degree. She's a top model and also a role model to many girls in her community. Jayla makes very good money. She's very independent, has a very good job, and side hustles also. And for some reason, the athletes and the famous guys just love her. I don't know what she does, but whatever she's doing, keep doing it, girl. Jayla definitely belongs in the Bad Girls Club. Matter of fact, she should have her own show, the Jayla Mina Show. Imagine that. You know what? Turn up, Jayla. She's just like the shit. She's on her shit. And, I mean, who wouldn't want her on their show? I mean, she would get y'all so many ratings. It's crazy. Look how beautiful she is. She wears all white, like, she's cocaine Jayla. You want her on your show. And then I know everybody, like, I know everybody. Anytime somebody come to Houston, any of the athletes, any of the celebrities, they always hit me up. They want me to come out with my girls. They want us to party. They want us to turn up with them. Like, and even outside of that, like, fuck, you know, knowing celebrities and athletes. I just know a bunch of people, period. And I'm cool as fuck. Like, if you ever meet somebody that say that they don't fuck with me or they don't like me, they're hating. They're period. fucking hating. Only period. reason, <laughs> only reason a bitch can tell you she don't like me is if her nigga like me or the bitch wanna be friends with a bitch like me and if a nigga ever tell you he don't like me or he don't fuck with me or that i'm a hoe of course it's because he can't get no pussy and bitches have set out goals to be her friend like they have made that one of their life goals exactly like, i've had bitches dress what? up like me for halloween and say i'm cocaine jayla i'm cocaine jayla for halloween <laughs> bitch you been a fan is what you been are. a fan the fuck she been had a friend i've had face. people take my picture to their plastic surgeon wanting my cheekbones wanting my lips like come on now it don't get no better there's only this. one cocaine jail only one only one that's it <laughs> what's up it's Amber checking in for my best friend, Jayla. My best friend is a true definition of a bad girl, and she definitely deserves to be on the Bad Girls Club. Put her on a show! What he said. My best friend is definitely dependable, driven, outgoing, trustworthy. You can call her and rely on her for anything. She's not going to sugarcoat. She's going to keep it funky. She's going to tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not. So asking her, a Capricorn, if you don't want to know the truth, don't fuck with her. My best friend will turn up, she'll get ratchet, she'll go zero to 100 real quick, and if you mess with her, you mess with me. Put her on the show, bad girls for life. You wanna know what makes me a bad girl? I mean, let's just face it. I'm 24 years old, I'm a published model, a few times published. Um, I buy what I want, I do what I wanna do, when I wanna do it how i want to do it i work or i handle business during the day and i turn up at night i party hard but i also know how to take care of my business first of all i love my friends and i love my family if you cross them then you've crossed me and i mean let's just face it like bitches want to be like me like i've had people take my picture to their plastic surgeon because they try to accomplish like the perfect bone structure like look at my cheekbones look at my lips my shit be on flick at all times like fuck just my eyebrows being on flick Bitch, my whole life is on flick, first of all. Like, bitches have dressed like me for Halloween. I want to be Cocaine Jayla. I want to be Cocaine Jayla. Like, this is real out here. Like, this Cocaine Jayla shit is not just, like, like for y'all. Like, this is an everyday type of lifestyle for me, and bitches want to be like me. So, that's what makes me a bad girl. I turn up in the club. I have a good time. And bitches are out here trying to be like me. Like, who trying to be like you? Nobody. This is my world, and y'all are just in it. So, sit back and get ready for the Jayla show. Gotta make sure you pick up